Hi, my name is Mr. Luke Nicholas. Now, if you have Facebook, then you might actually already know who I am because I post daily and I sometimes tweet, or not tweet, but post about things that happen to me, you know, in my everyday life. And I will soon be coming to Twitter because I'm going to update Twitter on my phone and I'm going to download it so that way I'll also be on Twitter. But anyways, I'm on Facebook. I have a lot of friends. Maybe you know me, maybe you don't, but now you do know me. And today, I am bringing you not just a rant video, but a video about something very sinister. No, it's not anything, like, that sinister. It's just that this, someone needs to know about this. Someone needs to warn you. Now, if you like watching TV, and if you like top-of-the-notch TV, nice quality, and, you know, just full-on entertainment, then I'm sure you've probably heard of Direct TV. Yes, I know you've heard of it. You had to have heard of it. I'm not going to explain this to you. I know you've heard DirecTV. I think it's obvious. Anyways, a lot of people say, like at least the people that I know, they say it's a good, reliable cable. Well, I am here to prove not just them, but all of you wrong. In this video, I present to you five reasons why DirecTV literally sucks ass. Let's start off with number one, and this is the most annoying reason. Now, let's say you're watching one of your favorite TV shows. It could be Family Guy, it could be The Simpsons, those are mine, anyways. It could be a zombie movie, it could be, a, if you're a horror fan, it could be, it could be, good co it could be anything, okay? You name it, it could be one of your favorite shows, and you're watching on your direct TV, and you're having some Cheetos or popcorn, and you're just having a good time, and all of a sudden, you get a message on your TV saying, this receiver is too hot, and will power off to cool down, and will turn back on shortly, and by shortly, it means about a good two and a half hours. This has happened to me not once, not two, not three, but 15 times. Literally, 15 times this has happened to me. And whenever my favorite show is playing, never before have I been so pissed off and so disappointed. This is especially bad because that favorite show of yours might have been recording or it was not recording. And then when it turns off and when it finally turns back on, that show is either going to be almost over, it's going to be a whole different chapter in the movie, or it's just not going to be on anymore because your DirecTV receiver just got too fucking hot and now it had to power off. You know, as I speak, this has actually happened to me another time. So that's 16 times this has happened to me. As we speak, my DirecTV is cooling off because I was just watching some Family Guy and I got a goddamn message saying that I had to turn it off because it was too hot. I felt it and it was not that hot. I swear to God it wasn't. Well, it was hot, but not very, very hot. Like I was going to catch fire or something, okay? Anyways, let's get on to reason number two. Now, some channels on my DirecTV are unfortunately starting to show some problems. Very, very annoying problems. And yes, it's even more annoying than the problem in reason number one. Skipping and lagging. This is happening on both my Adult Swim channel, Nickelodeon, because, you know, I'm I'm kind of a Nickelodeon fan. I mean, I don't like Henry Danger. I don't like all that other shit. I'm... Okay, you know what? Laugh at me all you want. I still watch SpongeBob sometimes. And also, there's a couple other channels. I think the History Channel as well. These channels are all showing very, very alarming signs of lagging and skipping. Last night, I couldn't even watch the History Channel without it's either skipping or something or it just freezing altogether. This is especially annoying when you're trying to watch a really favorite program. This is extremely annoying. My friends say that maybe it's because I'm not connected to the internet, which I'm not. I don't think so. Because I know a lot of other people who have DirecTV and are not connected to the internet, and theirs works just fine. Even, even the other cable boxes inside my apartment are doing this. And guess what? DirecTV, you know, the people at DirecTV, they're not doing shit about it. See, let me tell you something before we get on to the other reason. Let me tell you something. DirecTV doesn't care about you or what you like or what kind of shows you like. No, it doesn't care about any of that. It, it can give a shit about what you care about. But you know what it does care about? It cares about the stuff that comes out of your money, or the stuff, your money, like your money. I mean, I meant to say the wallet, like I was trying to be, you know, the stuff that comes out of your parents' wallet, their money, okay? They just care about your money. That's what I'm trying to say. DirecTV doesn't care about you, they just care about your money. You know, it's like Mr. Krabs from SpongeBob. You know how Mr. Krabs likes money? Well, so does DirecTV. I can't believe I'm saying this, but a cartoon character and cable provider actually has something in common because it's true 
Because DirecTV only cares about your money. It could be your parents' money, it could be your money. It's even worse if it's your money. Let me tell you something. If you are a moviegoer or just someone who likes watching TV, do not get DirecTV. I'm telling you, like I said, this is a warning video. It's not just a rant video. This is a fucking warning video. Now, let's get on to reason number three, shall we? Now, this is kind of a not too big problem, but you know what? Maybe, I don't know if this is very big or not. I don't know if this is happening to anyone else. My my friends have actually not reported this, but I there's some channels. There's some channels on my DirecTV, and some of them are disappearing. I swear to God, for God to strike me dead right now, about a month ago, I had five channels that were working just fine, and I even recorded shows from those channels. And a couple days after that, after I used those channels, it wasn't working anymore. You know that error that you get, like it says, uh, this channel was not purchased, or something like that? Well, that is bullshit. This now proves that DirecTV is either fucking with me, or it's fucking with all of you. All I know is that this has happened to me three, in three incidents. Three incidents this happened to me. If you don't believe me, look it up or something. But this has happened to me. I remember it. I recorded one show from another channel, and two other shows from a different channel, and I swear, those channels were no longer working after I tried putting them on the next day, or the day after that. Now, I don't know if this is some kind of glitch, or if DirecTV is actually fucking with us, and if they are, then that is very messed up, because now, not only do they just care about your money, but now they care about your money and taking away your channels. Now, reason number three will actually lead to reason number four. This wouldn't have been a problem, maybe, but you actually have to pay for some of the best channels. Like, channel 555, or channel 512, or channel 600. You have to pay for it. It's not included when you get your DirecTV. You have to pay an extra 20 or, or 11 or so dollars. Exactly, this actually points back to another reason. DirecTV just cares about your money. They don't care about you, they just want your money. That's all they want from you. Just the stuff that comes out of your wallet. It could be the credit card or it could be the money, as long as it has money in it. Because DirecTV loves money. You have to pay for some of the best channels. There was actually a show that I really want to record called Quarantine. It's this crazy zombie rabies movie. I saw it when I was just five years old and I regret it. Because after I saw the movie, I was so paranoid. But you know what? I still liked it. Sure, it scared the shit out of me, the living shit out of me, but I still liked it. I still enjoyed it. And I haven't seen that movie in a very long time, and I figured, hey, why not freak myself out again after all these years? And I have I have cable now, so what's stopping me? Oh, but you know what is stopping me? The channel that I was supposed to come on is now blocked because DirecTV wants me to pay for it. It's just like I said, they only care about your money. And finally, number five, the final reason why DirecTV is not only a bad cable to buy, but it's actually the worst cable you could even consider getting. Now, here it is. Now, I don't know if this affects everyone, but I have a switch in my apartment, and this switch is kind of like the power switch for the entire house. Like, if you flick it off, then everything that's plugged in will, like, go off, or at least in the front, I think. And unfortunately, the main DirecTV box, it's in the front, and I have a lot of little brothers, and they are psychopaths. And I'm sure you could guess that they fuck with the Switch a lot. And whenever they do fuck with the Switch, it doesn't just turn off their DirecTV, but it turns off mine and my dad's. And this is especially annoying because now instead of blaming your DirecTV, you also have to blame your annoying little brother now too. Because, well, I have one brother and he's probably the one I'm messing with the most. I'm not going to give any names, but he's just annoying as fuck. And he's a retard. Okay. Anyways, this is so annoying because what it actually does get turned off and like, let's say you're watching your favorite show, now you have to wait about a good 20 or so minutes for the damn thing to reload itself. Look, that was the final reason. I don't care if you like DirecTV or not, but I'm sure you're probably thinking, Luke, if you hate DirecTV so much and you just gave us five reasons why it sucks, then why do you have it? Why don't you just ditch the damn thing and get some better cable, you know? I know that's what you're thinking. Well, let me tell you. Let, let me let me answer your question for you. It's my dumbass fucking father because he thinks that DirecTV is good enough and he doesn't need to get a better cable. 
I don't know what the hell is wrong with him because he, I think even he knows that he can get better cable and yet he still wants to stay with this, DirecTV. The worst cable ever. Anyways guys, this was kind of a rant and a warning sign video. It's a rant because I talk about why I hate DirecTV and why it sucks, but also a warning sign. I'm warning you people, my friends, my fellow human beings, my community, everything. You people, because I care for you people. I care for you. And by showing that I care for you, I am warning you that this, this cable is the worst. And I'm warning you, I'm trying my best. I'm telling you not to get, and if you already have DirecTV and if, if you got a lot of money or if you're a kid like me, do your best, do your freaking best to convince your parents to get rid of it. I've tried my best with my parents and they just dismiss me like that. So it's too late for me, but at least I could do some good by preventing it from happening to you. So if you want to get some cable and you think, hey, maybe DirecTV will be good, change your mind immediately. Because if you don't, then you are one stupid ass motherfucker. Because you just watched my video. I hope you did. I hope this video goes viral. And you still want to get it? Seriously? You have proof. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, are there some benefits of having DirecTV? Well, surprisingly, yes. Well, kind of. Okay, not really. There's a couple of neat little things that... AT&T's DirecTV has that I personally do like. Look, I'll tell you what. Tomorrow morning, how about I make a video called Top 5 Benefits of Having DirecTV? But I'm still not saying you should buy it. Just use a friend's DirecTV or, or you know, I don't like to call them friends. I, I like to call them the poor ones because they're the ones like me who unfortunately chose DirecTV. Just, if you want to watch DirecTV, please don't get it. I'm begging you, please don't. It's a living nightmare, trust me. I have tried to watch Family Guy on my DirecTV so many times and either my stupid ass little brothers turn the switch off in the front or the damn thing overheats or something else happens. Just use your friend's DirecTV, man. You don't have to get this. Like, you really shouldn't. There are so much better cables out there that you could get. Why did my parents choose it? I have no idea. I have no clue. Are they stupid for getting it? Hell yes, this is the worst thing my dad has ever done to me ever since he sold my dog. Yes, I had a dog and he sold it to some gangsters, I think. What an asshole, I know. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this little rant and warning sign about why you shouldn't have DirecTV. The video about the benefits of having DirecTV will be coming tomorrow. And I guess I could spoil one of those things for you. Here it is, here it is. You could record your favorite programs, okay? That's the only that's one of my favorite benefits of having DirecTV because there are a lot of good shows that I like to record and DirecTV allows you to do that. But other than that, DirecTV is a nightmare, okay? Anyways guys, this was my rant video. Don't forget I am on Facebook and I will soon be joining Twitter as well. I don't know about Instagram, I'll consider it, but all I know is I'm definitely I'll definitely be on Twitter. And for now I'm definitely still on Facebook. Um if you wanna be my friend, then just look me up and send me a friend request and I'll definitely, you know, I'll accept your friend request. And let me know if you've seen the video. And I'm also talking to all my friends that are watching this from Facebook. If you're watching this, send me a, uh, send me a message. Let me know that you watched the video and tell me what you think about it. Oh, by the way, uh, nasty comments or hate comments are saying, Oh, Luke, you're just a judgmental little fat turd. Or DirecTV doesn't suck. Or you suck. Or you're one of God's mistakes. Th those... Those are not, those are really not necessary. And even if you do go past the warning sign and deliver one of those hate comments towards me or on Facebook, then that comment will be disliked and deleted. And if it's on Facebook, then I'll report you. I swear to God, I will. I'm a minor. You will get arrested or just get in major trouble. Just, there's no need for it. Just keep it to yourself, man. You don't have to be an asshole. I'm just telling you, these, these are my personal thoughts. If you love DirecTV, then that's fine with me. Let me know how your nightmare is going. If you if you enjoy your DirecTV, that's fine. I respect that, but I have not. I think DirecTV is the worst cable you could even consider buying. Anyways, guys, that was my little rant and warning sign. Thank you so very much for watching. This is Luke Nicholas signing off. Send me a message on Facebook, okay? Have a nice day, guys. Bye-bye.